Those blue skies most of the day today. You might have noticed flooded parks and trails right along the Cherry Creek this afternoon, and we're not in the clear just yet. Nope. Andrea Henderson joining us live now along the creek to explain why the water is so high right now and when we can expect it to recede. Andrea. Yeah, Matt, so I'm here along the trail right by the Cherry Creek Mall. You can see the trail is closed behind me and for good reason, probably about 100 feet beyond this, the trail is just covered in water and I'm told it'll likely stay that way for the rest of the evening. Almost immediately when I got on, there was like a half foot of standing water. Bike rides along Cherry Creek turned a bit soggy Wednesday. And uh, I got soaked. As cyclists navigated the trail. Had to get on a road, then get back on Cherry Creek Trail. That looks more like a river in some areas. I just wasn't prepared for it at all. The reason for the flooded trails and rushing water, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers pushed extra water through the dam at Cherry Creek Reservoir Wednesday to remove any rocks or soil that could be blocking the gates. What you'll see is the low-lying areas around parks and golf courses. You'll see those flooded temporarily. Um, you'll also see the trails where they dip down or cross over the creek. Those will be flooded as well. During the flush, each of the five gates is open for a short period of time to push away built up debris, making it easier to open and close the gates as needed, despite the inconvenience. And uh, yeah, it's just been kind of a pain. The Army Corps of Engineers says it's critical to prevent the gates from getting stuck during heavy rain, which could lead to severe flooding. If the gates get stuck open, that's that's an issue because we might have more water than we'd like to have in the creek. And if they get stuck closed, we then have more water than we'd like in the reservoir. A large flush like this happens once every other year. While flooding will last for most of the day, by Thursday, it should be back to normal. Oh, that's good. That, that's nice to hear. And that last flush happened around 2 o'clock this afternoon, but they tell me they don't really expect the peak flooding to hit Confluence Park downtown until about 8 o'clock tonight. So still several hours from now, if you're out along these trails, just make sure you are being extra safe. And if you see these signs, make sure you're paying close attention. Live here in Cherry Creek, Andrea Henderson, Fox 31. All right, Andrea, thank you.